I've been a fan of your work for a long time. And um, the, the occasion of my wanting to speak to you now is, is the, the debacle of, of our withdrawal from, from Afghanistan. And um, you, you've brought a really interesting perspective uh, to that from, from an angle that m- many people don't normally think about Afghanistan, which is in terms of ethnic and tribal differences pretty much how we've tended to talk and think about Afghanistan's uh, Afghanistan as Americans is in terms of uh, the fight between liberalism and democracy on the one hand and Islamism on the other hand, between two ideologies. And no doubt that's, that's a, a, an important way of looking at the situation. But y- y- as you say in your book, Political Tribes, we've s- sort of been totally blind to the fact that many Afghanis, you know, it, it view this primarily as an ethnic conflict that goes back hundreds and hundreds of years, and that uh, th- that set of motivations is key to understanding uh, the, the way people behave. So, can you talk a little bit about um, the, the the perspective you're bringing to it, looking at the ethnic divides in Afghanistan? Yeah. Um- So, you know, in U.S. foreign policy for at least half a century, I mean, most of your listeners are probably, you know, barely (laughs) have heard of Vietnam, but I date it back to then. Um, In the United States, we have been kind of incredibly ignorant about the group identities that actually exist on the ground. And we tend to view the world in terms of these grand ideological battles. You you mentioned some of them, you know, capitalism versus communism. And I have a whole chapter on how we got Vietnam wrong because we missed the ethnic angle there. But yeah, what happened with Afghanistan and to some extent Iraq also is we were just our view was, you know, kind of like the free world versus terrorists or the axis of evil. You know, we had this kind of anti-Islamist thing. Um, and it really, um, it hampered us. I mean, we are talking about, we had the greatest military power, you know, that anyone's ever seen the, the Taliban, like they don't, you know, they're, they're, they're so at the opposite extreme. Um, but what happened is that the, in Afghanistan, it's really different from the United States. You know, we, we complain a lot about tribalism here, but a lot of developing countries, Coleman, they just really never had this national identity that tied them all together. Um, and in Afghanistan, there are at least 14 ethnic groups, but the largest three are the Pashtuns, the Tajiks, and the Uzbeks. And when we invaded in 2001, right after 9-11, we, we came in on this wave of collective grief and anger um, and we just bombed the hell out of everything. And it, we declared victory. And, you know, it's like, OK, we've defeated them. Um, and that's actually not what happened. I mean, the Taliban just kind of dispersed and went up into the mountains. But what's interesting is that we miss the fact that the Taliban is not just a fundamentalist Islamist movement, which it is, but it's also primarily an ethnic movement founded and largely populated and led by this largest ethnic group in Afghanistan, the Pashtuns, who had ruled that country for hundreds of years, but were starting to lose their historical dominance. Um, it was actually in the Cold War when the Soviets messed it up. But they, the, the Pashtuns, who basically felt like we owned this country, we founded this country, the name Afghan practically means Pashtuns, they started to lose their dominance. And what we did is we missed that, right? We just, we're like, okay, the Taliban, we don't want to deal with anybody dealing with the Taliban. So we allied ourselves, the U.S. forces, with the Tajiks and the Uzbeks. These are the main rivals of the Pashtuns. And then we set up this government that was viewed as favoring these Uzbeks and Tajiks. So it's amazing. We had all this military power, but we were basically shooting ourselves in the foot at every second. So, you know, a lot of um, Afghanistan, you know, Pashtuns who welcomed us at first, they're like, wait a minute. Why is the U.S. allied with these groups that basically massacred our grandparents or killed our parents? Um, Why is this government viewed? You know, why is all the people in these top positions? Why are they not part of our group? Um, And that's essentially how the Taliban swept to power in the first place. They kind of went to all these places that were predominantly Pashtun and they said, 
hey, you guys may not like us and agree with everything, but what are the alternatives? We're at least going to protect the Pashtun identity. Um, and that's actually how they did it again just this last month. You know, the U.S. is like, wait, what happened? How did the country fall so quickly? Same plan. They, the Taliban quietly went to all these places. They went to the Pashtun places first. And they said, we're Pashtuns. We're going to protect you. We'll put you first. Um, and people just folded. 